Place is in ten. Thank you, ten. Christine, have you seen my basket for the market scene? I think we have a spare in the prop room. I'll grab it. You finish getting dressed. Cool. Thanks. No, most people would just say hello. And most would not consider me to be people. What are you doing here? It's been some time since I've seen a show, though I can't help but notice that it seems to be missing its star. Stop, stop. No more bullshit. Now, why are you here? Would you believe that I only wanted to see you again? I would. And that doesn't exactly give me much comfort. You know that I would never harm you. It's not me that I'm worried about. Frankenstein. Not just him. You treat the world like it's just one big box of things to help you get what you want. That's- You've killed people, Eric. From what I understand, we have that in common. What are you talking about? I am aware of your recent activities. So you've been stalking me? Again? I applaud your attempt at shifting the conversation, but I'm afraid it's fallen a bit short. Look, I... I haven't killed anyone. But you're no doubt responsible for several lost lives. How many has it been now? How many assignments have you accepted? You may not have been the one to steal their final breaths, but would they not still be alive had you not agreed to act on his behalf? Maybe. Or maybe he just would have found someone else to do it. What are you getting at? Because this whole, we're not so different, you and I, shit is not going to cut it with me. You are in danger. I can put an end to it. Tell me where he is, Christine, and it will be over tonight. Let me protect you. God, you sound just like Victor. Do not ever compare me to him. It's true, though, isn't it? You're both so desperate to protect me. Well, newsflash, boys, I don't need any more protecting than you do. I'm a whole-ass adult. I'm sick of people assuming that my only personality traits are music and woman. And I'm the one who got myself into this situation. I'll handle it however I want. And by myself. Christine, I love- Don't say that. You think you love me, Eric. But I think you love the idea of me. You love companionship. You love compassion. The concept of someone who won't abandon you. Everything that you deserve to have but never got. That's why you went to Victor to have him make you a wife. It's not me that you love, Eric. You love love itself. And let's face it, if Meg or Carlotta or any one of the other girls had been the one to spend that time with you, you'd have fallen just as hard for her. I could say the same about you. How do you know? Eric, I dated Meg for three months when we were 12. That doesn't... Whether or not you choose to acknowledge the fact, we are the same, you and I. I have no doubt your love for the man you've chosen to marry. But you've something deeper. You love the concept of love above all else. Just as I do. Anything that would pierce the veil of loneliness that has so long shrouded you. That's not fair. I think you and I know better than most that life seldom is. Look. Maybe you're right, but don't act like you have me all figured out, okay? 
I know you better than- What's my middle name? I'm sorry? What's my favorite color? What am I allergic to? What's the name of the town where I grew up? You think you know me, Eric, but you don't. And you need to stop pretending that you do. None of this Would is- Would you just shut up for two seconds? God, talk about it like father, like son. How many times am I going to be interrupted and talked over by you, by everyone? You need to be protected. You need to open up more. You need, you need, you need Jesus. Why doesn't anyone ever ask me what I need? Everyone just assumes that they know me, what's best for me, everything. And the moment I try to take my life into my own hands, suddenly I'm in danger just because I decided to help. What the fuck? Not now, Harburg. Okay, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab, hi, excuse me. Oh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm gone. I know you mean well, but Eric, you've got to let me go. For good this time. Maybe, maybe we could be friends someday. But that's going to take some work on your part. You understand me? No more of this. Write me a damn letter or something. Send me a postcard. Just, hey, how have you been? Hope things are going well. We start there, and maybe we'll be able to see how things go. Did you ever, for even a moment, think perhaps you could love me? And what could you have to gain from knowing that? Whether I did or not, that doesn't change what we are now. Can I, can I see you? Christine. Please. Eric, someday you are going to find someone who sees all the good that I know is in your heart. Someone who will be ecstatic about the idea of spending her life with you. And one day, you're going to wake up next to her, and you're going to know what it is to really, truly love. But it's not going to happen on this road you're going down. You're angry with the world, and you let that drive you. You're focused on revenge when you could be focused on helping make sure that no one ever feels as lost or alone as you did. I have to go. Enjoy the show. I'll make sure Harbert doesn't say anything to anyone. Take care of yourself, okay? Of course. Places! Eric? You still there? Fuck! Shit! Fuck! I'm in way over my head. I knew that when I started all of this. Not necessarily helping Victor. Even though, wow, it is a lot more than I originally bargained for. But what I've done to make some progress. Every single night, it's the same. Even when I'm not, you know, it still feels like I am. I threw up five times during the first week. I hate to admit that Eric is right, but God, he's right. And I'm in way too deep to let the guys know what I've been up to. Victor would probably have a breakdown. Rightfully so, if you ask me. I'm scared, Dad. I just wanted to help. I only ever wanted to help. Isn't that what you taught me? To do good no matter how hard it might be. I'm trying to do good. And I just feel like it's making things worse. Maybe this is your fault. Maybe you taught me too well. Now I just expect that other people want to do good too. Maybe that's why I constantly give my mind blindly to anyone who asks for it. Eric, Victor, Ruthven. Of the three of them, 
Only one actually cares about me as a person. Eric thinks he does. Ruth Ben sure as hell doesn't give a rat's ass. And Victor is... complicated. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good word for it. He is one complicated son of a bitch. I can still hear your voice. Be nice, Christine. That wasn't very nice, Christine. All that time, we were both so focused on making sure I was nice that we never made sure that I was good. And I don't think I'm a good person, Dad. I used to. But a good person wouldn't do this. I'm doing it to help Victor because I'm nice. Sacrificing all of this. Things I didn't even know were part of the deal. Just because it might be useful. That is so fucking nice. But what I need to do, it sure as hell isn't good. It's about as far from it as I can get. And looking back, I don't think I've ever been good. Not really. I can trick people easy enough. People tend to like me. But if I decide I don't want them to, well... We end up with another raw egg through the mail slot incident. A good person would at least feel bad about that. I don't. Meg and I spent hours laughing over it and I still catch myself smiling at the memory. Sometimes I wonder what his reaction was when he found it after his vacation. Three weeks in the middle of summer. Yikes on several bikes. <laughs> he would have hated it. He would have sat me down and asked why, and I would have explained. And maybe you'd have understood enough not to punish me, but... You still would have been disappointed. Told me not to do anything like that again. I have done things like that again. Hell, I'd do it again right now. I don't regret a thing. Including what I've been doing. What I will do. It's for them. For all of us. And, God, Dad, I just hope you understand. 